in new york everyone loves a winner but in reality everyone loves a little bit of nonsense that is where the circle of willis comes in Arteries start from the heart. They distribute blood all over the body and return back to the heart through the veins. That is for normal arteries. But circle of villis is no normal guy at all. Circle of villis is an arterial cushion on which our brain sits on. more specifically to the deeper inner structures of the brain blood is brought by circle of villis even though linguistically inappropriate circle of villis is a true stroke buster because of its very nature it avoids a whole lot of strokes in human Now circle is two dimensional structures whereas most of the human heads are three dimensional they are circular too in this dimensional paradox sits circle of willis like a monster with multiple heads circle of willis accommodates itself in this two and three dimensional paradox like mythological minotaur circle of willis has two horns on the head and two humongous horns on the sides of the hip and other two on the tail two horns the horns on the head are called anterior cerebral arteries and there is a connection a bridge between them that is called anterior communicating artery the middle cerebral artery is coming from the hip they are humongous they are continuing as posterior communicating artery lastly but not leastly the tail horns also have a role to play in the arterial blood supply of the brain they are called posterior cerebral arteries this posterior cerebral arteries have a totally different source unlike the anterior or middle cerebral arteries they start from subclavian artery in the the neck region go through vertebral and then coalesce co- connect with each other in basilar artery then only they divide into posterior cerebral arteries in addition the circle of villis has multitude of branches and sub branches they can communicate with each other now you connect the dots what you are getting is called circle of willis the funny part played by circle of willis is that blood flow in this circle is de- depending on the need any direction it can move forward or backward now if an obstruction is there in the circle of willis the blood can bypass that by flowing backward and going to the another communicating artery to the other side so the indented region of the blood flow will not suffer because of one obstruction this is the miracle of circle of willis who in the world does not want to talk about themselves 
when my own left internal carotid artery stopped working my brain did not suffer very much because the blood could not go through the carotid artery then circle of will is told blood come on they it opened its door wide and blood could go through the right side bypassing the obstruction coming to the left the surgeons helped the circle of willis and blood by increasing my blood pressure with the medications the blood could, so blood could be forced to go through the other side so my left side of the brain could be oxygenated that affects the right side of the body now my left side of the brain has sufficient oxygen not only for the normal functions for also beard growth now don't ask me why beard is growing on both sides that is for you to think about thank you if you like this video subscribe and tell your friends